Yo, what is up guys? Today, I actually have a really, really cool video. It sounds so basic, but I promise you there's gonna be a lot of value in this one, especially at the end when I show you the automated way that I onboard new clients in my website design agency. So I'm gonna show you two methods, the manual way, just so that you understand it, and then the automated way. I'll run you through the automations and how I quite literally set them up. So it's gonna be step by step. This isn't just me talking to a camera. I'm quite literally just gonna do it all on my screen. Now, if you don't know me, I run a niche ticket, a niche high ticket website design agency. We consistently do more than $50,000 a month. I sell my websites for $15,000. Sometimes I'll sell one or two, maybe three websites in a week. And I know that after a sale, whether it's an hour long sale, all I want to do is close my laptop, but it's super duper important to make sure that the client has a very good onboarding experience, because I can promise you this right now, that if you don't onboard the client quickly, there's a very high chance that you will lose the client and then you will lose the entire deal. That's the worst thing that could happen. So you want to make sure that they have a very good onboarding experience. So you'll see all the emails I use and everything. This is going to be a very quick video. Um, I know I haven't made a lot of videos on YouTube lately, but I've learned some really awesome automations and stuff that I know you will like um, in these softwares and I'll show you how to do it. And it's inspired me to make a video. So thanks for your patience. I know a lot of you guys have been reaching out to me. Um, here we go, the manual method. This could take you 60 minutes, even more. Usually, you know, you'll make the sale through Zoom. Um, what happens then is I'll manually send them a welcome email plus an onboarding form link. I'll use JotForm for the onboarding form. The onboarding form questions, these are my onboard onboarding form questions. You know, pause the video. You can read it if you want, so I'm not going to explain. It's very basic. Um, but it's basically everything that you need to onboard the client effectively. Um, now... Thirdly, let the team know what the deals, what the deal details are manually through Slack or email. Now that's really the important thing. Whether you're a website designer, I would tell you start delegating as soon as possible. Stop doing the work. Just get into the sales. You know, sell value, don't sell your time. So it's super important to have a team. Now for me, I do need to let the team know. I need to let two people know specifically: the project manager, so that they know exactly what the deal is you know, who to contact, when to contact them, you know, if there's any special requirements from the clients. And then also my admin assistants, my personal assistant to, you know, update the sheets and make sure the stripe is taken care of and that the payment um, plans are set in place and stuff like that. So it's really important for me to communicate that to my team, not only send the onboarding details to the client. Then what happens after that is I'll add the project to monday.com manually. So we use project uh, we use monday.com for our project management. If you've seen my videos, you'll see that everything's SOP'd out, the entire website process step by step. So from onboarding to content, to design, to development, to SEO and aftercare, that's all SOP'd out. So we use Monday to give us a higher level overview of everything. Um, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use one of my newer clients as an example in this, and I'm going to show you how I onboard them. So I sold to them about two hours ago. I sold $22,000 today. I sold two websites. Um, I gave a little bit of a discount to one of them to help them out um, because it's a bit of a newer company. And so I've sold $22,000. Um, here we go. So I'll add the project to monday.com. We'll wait for the client to complete the onboarding. And then my team will go ahead and start the work. My project manager will schedule an onboarding call. They'll go over the onboarding documents. Once everyone's happy, he'll move forward. He'll write the content, give it to the designer. Designer will move forward, do the development. SEO off to get, boom, we move on. That is the onboarding process. Now, this is where it gets super duper duper cool. I'm actually so excited to show you. So check this out. Um, this is the automated method. So just hold on to your seats just for a second. Check this out. So obviously the sale is made, right? Um, you know, and then what I'll do is I'll move the the sale in the CRM. So here we have this, the CRM. Now, when they get onto a call with me, whether my assistant books the call directly in the DMs or whether they book it with me directly, they'll, the, it will go through my calendar and then it will automatically add it to the pipeline into appointment book. So this client from JH Exteriors is actually my newest client. So they're in the appointment book pipeline. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move them over to the sale one pipeline. Now, when I move them over to the sale one pipeline, this is the automation that happens. So it's on, this is on uh, go high level, by the way, I'll, I'll put a link in the bio for, for go high level, check it out. I love go high level, works amazing. Um, and so 
pipeline stays changed, if the pipeline in the leads pipeline is changed to sales one, then this will this will happen. It will send an email. The email looks like this. It's from me. It goes congratulations with a nice little gift. Super cool. The best decision investment you've made this year into yourself. Please complete this onboarding form. Cheers to new beginnings and let's create a legacy together. Just super cool. Then I'll send a notification in Slack to the team. Hey team, com- this is the contact name, company email um, to the closer. Please. So, so this is really important. So right now I'm the closer in my business, but you might have a sales closer. Right now it's going to be you. You're going to be the sales guy. So I'm just preemptively for, for the growth of my company. I, I put that there. So to the closer, please complete the after sale details form to notify the team about the deal details and send over the contract. Let's go team. Let's get him onboarded ASAP. So that, that goes in the Slack message. Then what happens is I send an email internally. So this is the email externally to the client to onboard them with the onboarding form. Then I send an internal email to the owner of the deal, right? So on the CRM, the closer, that would be me in this case, it would go to me, it would say, hey, congratulations on the sale for contact name from contact company. Please complete this form here to update the team on the deal details and send over the contract and the proposal, okay? Super important that on this link, so this is the link to just the form that we have on the Go High Level account. You can go, you can go create your own form. But what's really important is that at the end of this link, I put a question mark, emails equals, and then contact dot email. The reason I'm doing this in this automation is that when I pass the 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 email of the client right into the the form right that that when i open it check this out then then what happens is that whenever i complete that form it associates all of that information to that client so that's how my team can go ahead and just complete a form and it will update all of the information on that form to that client let me show you what i mean by this check this out okay so check this out i'm going to show you this in real time so um appointment booked here we go this is the client i'm going to move them over to sale one so let's check this out boom i've just moved them over to sale one so i know that this automation has just run we've just sent an email to that person and we've just sent an email to myself let's check it out okay here we go so i'm going to refresh boom you can see it's come to me so this is the after sale deal details this is how i update my team and i let them know and this is how we send the contract and proposal over automatically so congratulations on the sale with client from company. Please complete this form to update the client details. Now, remember what I mentioned about passing the email into this form? This is why. So that this email form field is already populated. Now, when we populate this field with a client in the CRM's email, then all of this information over here will automatically get added to that client's information in Go High Level. Then we can shoot that off to our project management software like Monday so that it can automatically, how cool is that, automatically update all the details in Monday and then also send my team the details. So this is what I do. So this is a new client. So it's a website client. Um, We'll also do local service ads and we're also going to do some social media domination. So I'm going to go ahead and complete this form right now. Okay, boom. So I've completed the information, the payment terms. 12,500 total to 2,500 down, then 2,500 a month till paid off. This is the deal summary. They'll get the website, they'll get the SEO times three months, and they'll also get some social media management for three months, special requests, sales feedback, love the client, take good care of them, boom. So what I'll do then is I'll submit it. So that's the really cool part. Now it says, thanks for taking the time to complete this. Now guess what? Um, I have another, I have another um, automation over here on go high level that says after sale deal details feedback notify team and send contract so after that form is submitted after form sale details which is the form that we created right is submitted this is what happens an internal notification will fire and it will send to all of my team members respective team members And it will give them all of the deal details, the name, the company, the numbers, services included, the deal summary, payment plans, notes, special requests. And I'll call out my team. I'll say, hey, guys, 
please take care of this, please do this, please do that. So depending on, you know, the services required by the client, it will send the email to the right people. Right now, I've got the email sending out to the whole team so that they, they're they all involved in the loop. So that's just a super cool way so that I don't have to manually go, I'll just get the email. Or in the future, the sales guy that closed the deal will get the email. They'll just complete the after sale form and then that will update the client. It would send it to the whole team. The team can then go and fulfill on the work. That's how we onboard the client. So cool, right, guys? So freaking cool. But it doesn't end there. So this is this is what we do next. Then on Zapier, we'll say when the pipeline stage has changed in Lead Connector, right? So check this out. So when the pipeline stage has changed in Lead Connector, continue Lead to Sales 1. It will then, um, it will then, let's see it. Love this dude, legend. Let's see, find new records real quick. Gonna check it, there's new records over here. Um, let's see, I'm not sure if this is, if this is the one. Well, anyways, what, what would that, what would happen then is it would create an item in monday.com. So let's go continue. Let's see, continue. This is the item, the company name, shift, owner, bloody blah, blah, waiting for PM. So it would quite literally go ahead and create this, um, this item in Monday dot com now for some reason it didn't create the the one that i've just done let me just diagnose that real quick okay guys so here we go i have not found the issue but i'm definitely going to troubleshoot this a little later maybe get into contact with support um, as to why this app is not working properly but um, it should be working properly i'm sure it's a tiny little hiccup but what i'm going to do is i'm just going to force the zap through with the previous one so you can see the information that's being sent from Lead Connector, which is go ahead of all into Monday to create an item in Monday. This is the item name, which is a company name, the owner, the last name, um, moving on and then continue. So what I'm going to do right now is I am going to retest this last step. So you see right now, this is currently shift exteriors. It's in there, but what, what I'm going to do right now is I'm gonna say retest last step. So it's gonna send it to Monday. And then let's have a look what happens. Boom, shift roofing exteriors. I can see that it's literally just added it. And as you can see, it's busy populating it as we speak. And it's even created some sub items for us. So how did it do that? Some more or some automations. So what I have then is that I have some automations on Monday. So um, Zapier, We'll send it from go high level to Monday. And then on Monday, when a new item is created, then this is what happens. So when an item is created and only if an item is in the one onboarding phase, then it will create a sub item for, you know, is the onboarding form complete for that's for the project manager, another sub item for is the introduction call complete. So basically these sub items, just so you can see on this one item, these are the two sub items for this phase. So when these two things are complete, let's say it's done, it will show you the progress in this phase is nearly done. Boom, now the progress is done, and then we'll move it over into content. At which point when we move it into content, more sub items will automatically get added because of the automations. But for now, I'm just gonna say not done because it's not done. Um, but then what you'll notice is that we also have a phase deadline and then a project timeline. So the phase deadline you can see is three days because in onboarding it takes three days. And then the project timeline, that's um, six weeks. So that that also automatically gets filled out. But this is how we do that. So when the item is created, it creates the sub items, then it sets the phase deadline to today, then it pushes the phase deadline by three days, and then it sets the phase deadline status to on schedule, then it adds the assignee myself and my project manager, then it adds the assignee, my project manager, then it notifies the project manager in Slack. And boom, in this two minutes, literally, I know it looks very, very complicated, but in the in the two minutes that it took us to do that, all that happened was I actually, I just completed the sale and then I completed the after sale onboarding form and boom, now my team knows everything and the project was added to Monday. Now my team can go ahead, introduce themselves. My project manager can get into contact and we can fully onboard the client We've sent out all the information. We've welcomed them on board. And this is how you 
onboard new clients into your agency at scale. I hope that this has brought you some value. Guys, um, follow me on Instagram, send me a message. I'd love to get some messages from you. And if you're interested in potentially, you know, signing up for my web agency blueprint, which has all my SOPs and A to Z course on everything that I do to, you know, build and scale my website design agency, stuff like this, lots of other stuff, fulfillment, design, development, onboarding, acquiring new clients. Um, that'll all be in the web agency blueprint. Literally just navigate to the web agency blueprint.com and then input your details over there for um you know a special discount and then when the course launches you can enjoy that special discount but guys you have to 100,000 percent you have to join the discord the discord is probably one of the best discord communities i have seen in the agency space boom i am in the discord as you can see we have 8,300 people in there people chatting in there every day we've got awesome roles um you know different channels for, um, you know, cold calling, voice chats, super duper active, frequently asked questions. We've got a whole forum, answers any of your questions, all the wins, beginners chat. You'll find an insanely awesome community and people to partner up with in the Discord. I'd love to see you there and I'd love to see you win. And I hope that this video has brought you some value. Peace out, guys. Thank you.